Session 39, March 16th, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Question. I notice that most of the basic things seem to be divided into units which total seven. In looking at a transcript by Henry Purek of The Nine, I found a statement by The Nine where they say, If we get seven times the electrical equivalent of the human body, then it would result in seven on of the mass of electricity. Could you explain this? Ra, to explain this is beyond the ability of your language. We shall, however, make an attempt to address this concept. As you are aware, in the beginning of the creation set up by each Logos, there are created the complete potentials, both electrical in the sense that the one called Larson and Tens, and the metaphysical. The metaphysical electricity is, an impo- is important in the understanding, shall we say, of this statement, as is the concept of electricity. This concept, as you are aware, deals with potential energy. The electron has been said to have no mass but only a field. Others claim a mass of infinitesimal measure. Both are correct. The true mass of the potentiated energy is the strength of the field. This is also true metaphysically. However, in your present physical system of knowledge, it is useful to take the mass number of the electron in order to do work that you may find solutions to other questions about the physical universe. In such a way, you may conveniently consider each density of being to have a greater and greater spiritual mass. The mass increases, shall we say, significantly, but not greatly, until the gateway density. In this density, the summing up, the looking backward in short all of the useful function of polarity have been used. Therefore, the metaphysical electrical nature of the individual grows greater and greater in spiritual mass. For an analog, one may observe the work of the one known as Elbert, who posits the growing to infinity of mass, as the mass approaches the speed of light. Thus, the seventh density being, the completed being, the creator who knows itself accumulates mass and compacts into the one creator once again. Question. Then in the equation, here I am assuming MI is spiritual mass. And here he gives a spiritual equation. Ra, this is correct. Question. Thank you. Can you tell me what this transmission from the nine means? CH is a principle, which is the revealing principle of knowledge and of law. Can you tell me what that principle is? Ra, the principle so veiled in the statement is but the simple principle of the constant or creator and the transient or the incarnate being and the yearning existing between the two one for the other in love and light amidst the distortions of free will acting upon the illusion-bound entity. Question. Was the reason the nine transmitted this principle in this form the first distortion? Ra, this is incorrect. Question. Can you tell me why they gave the principle in such a veiled form, then? Ra. The scribe is most interested in puzzles and equations. Question. I see. The nine describes themselves as a nine principles of God. Can you tell me what they mean by that? Ra. This is also a veiled statement. The attempt is made to indicate that the nine who sit upon the council are those representing the Creator, the One Creator, just as there may be nine witnesses in a courtroom testifying for one defendant. The term principle has this meaning also. The desire of the scribe may be seen in much of this material to have affected the manner of its presentation, just as the abilities and preferences of this group determines the nature of this contact. The difference lies in the fact that we are as we are. Thus we may either speak as we will or not speak at all. This demands a very tuned, shall we say, group. Question. I sense that there is a fruitful ground for investigation of our development in tracing the evolution of the bodily energy centers, because these seven centers seem to be linked with all the sevens that I spoke of previously, and there seem to be central to our own development. Could you describe the process of evolution of these bodily energy centers, starting with the most primitive form of life to have them? Ra, this material has been covered previously to some extent. Therefore, we shall not repeat information upon which rays dwell in first and second density and the wherefores of this, but rather attempt to enlarge upon this information. The basic pivotal points of each level of development, that is, each density beyond second, may be seen to be as follows. 
Firstly, the basic energy of so-called red ray. This ray may be understood to be the basic strengthening rays for each density. It shall never be condescended to as less important or productive of spiritual evolution, for it is the foundation ray. The next foundation ray is yellow. This is the great stepping stone ray. At this ray, the mind-body potentiates to its fullest balance. The strong red-orange-yellow triad springboards the entity into the center ray of green. This is again a basic ray, but not a primary ray. This is the resource for spiritual work. When the green ray has been activated, we find the third primary ray being able to begin potentiation. This is the first true spiritual ray in that all transfers are of an integrated mind, body, spirit nature. The blue ray seats the learning teachings of the spirit in each density within the mind-body complex, animating the whole, communicating to others this entirety of beingness. The indigo ray, though precious, is the ray worked upon only by the adept, as you would call it. It is the gateway to intelligent infinity bringing intelligent energy through. This is the energy center worked upon in those teachings considered inner, hidden, and the occult, for this ray is that which is infinite in its possibilities. As you are aware, those who heal, teach, and work for the Creator in any way which may be seen to be both radiant and balanced are those activities which are indigo ray. As you are aware, the violet ray is constant and does not figure into a discussion of the functions of ray activities and that it is the mark the register, the identity, the true vibration of the entity. Question. In order to clarify a little, I would like to ask this question. If we have a highly polarized entity, polarized toward service to others, and a highly polarized entity, polarized toward service to self, what would be the difference in the red rays of these two entities? Ra. This shall be the last question of this working. There are no differences in equally strongly polarized positive and negative entities as regard red ray. Question. Is this also true of all the other rays? Ra, we shall answer briefly. You may question further at another working. The negative ray pattern is the red, orange, yellow moving directly to the blue, this only being used in order to contact intelligent infinity. In positively oriented entities, the configuration is even crystalline clear, and of the seven ray description. Are there any short queries before we leave? Question, I would like to ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. Ra, you are most conscientious. All is well. I leave you, my friend, in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 40, March 18th, 1981 Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Question. I thought I would make a statement and let you correct it. I'm trying to make a simple model of the portion of the universe that we find ourselves in, starting with the sub-logos, our sun. We have white light emanating from this which is made up of the frequencies ranging from red to violet. I am assuming that this white light then contains the experiences through all of the densities and as we go, into the eighth density, we go into a black hole which becomes, on the other side, another logos or sun and starts another octave of experience. Can you comment on this part of my statement? Ra, we can comment upon this statement to an extent. The concept of the white light of the sub-logos, being prismatically separated and later, at the final chapter, being absorbed again is basically correct. However, there are subtleties involved which are more than semantic. The white light which emanates and forms the articulated sublogos has its beginning in what may be metaphysically seen as darkness. The light comes into that darkness and transfigures it, causing the chaos to organize and become reflective or radiant. Thus the dimensions come into being. Conversely, the blackness of the black hole, metaphysically speaking, is a concentration of white light being systematically absorbed once again into the One Creator. Finally, this absorption into the One Creator continues until all the infinity of creations have attained sufficient spiritual mass in order that all form once again the Great Central Sun. If you would so imagine it, of the intelligent infinity awaiting potentiation by free will, 
Thus, the transition of the octave is a process which may be seen to enter into timelessness of unimaginable nature. To attempt to measure it by your time measure would be useless. Therefore, the concept of moving through the black hole of the ultimate spiritual gravity well and coming immediately into the next octave misses the sub-concept or corollary of the portion of this process which is timeless. Question. Our star astronomers have noticed that light from spiral galaxies is approximately 70 times less than it should be, considering the calculated mass of the galaxy. I was wondering if that was due to an increase of spiritual mass in the galaxy in what we call white dwarf stars. Ra, this is basically correct and is a portion of the way or process of creation cycle. Question. Thank you. I was also wondering if the first density corresponds somehow to the color red, the second to the color orange, the third to the color yellow, and so on through the densities corresponding to the colors in perhaps a way so that the basic vibration which forms the photons that form the core of the atomic particles would have a relationship to the color in the density, and that that vibration would step up for second, third, and fourth density, corresponding to the increase in the vibration of the colors. Is any of this correct? Ra, this is more correct than you have stated. Firstly, you are correct in posting, positing a quantum, if you will, as the nature of each density, and further correct in assuming that these quanta may be seen to be a vibratory nature, corresponding to color as you grasp this world. However, it is also true, as you have suspected, but not asked, that each density is of the metaphysical characteristic complex of its ray. Thus, in first density, the red ray is the foundation for all that is to come. In second density, the orange ray is that of movement and growth of the individual, this ray striving towards the yellow ray of self-conscious manifestation of a social nature as well as individual, third density being the equivalent and so forth each density being primarily its ray plus the attraction of the following ray pulling it forward in evolution and to some extent coloring or shading the chief color of that density. Question. Then bodily energy centers for an individual, assuming that the individual evolves in a straight line from first through the eighth density, would then be activated to completion if everything worked as it should. Would each chakra be activated to completion and greatest intensity by the end of the experience in each density. Ra, hypothetically speaking, that is correct. However, the full activated being is rare. Much emphasis is laid upon the harmonies and balances of individuals. It is necessary for graduation across densities for the primary energy centers to be functioning in such a way as to communicate with intelligent infinity and to appreciate and bask in this light in all its purity. However, to fully activate each energy center, center is the mastery of few, for each center has a variable speed of rotation or activity. The important observation to be made once all necessary centers are activated to the min minimal necessary degree is the harmony and balance between these energy centers. Question. Thank you. Taking as an example the transition between second and third density, when this transition takes place, does the frequency of vibration which forms the photon or the core of all particles of the density increase from a frequency corresponding to second density or the color orange to the frequency that we measure as the color yellow? What I am getting at is, do all the vibrations that form the density, the basic vibrations of the photon, increase in a quantum fashion over a relatively short period of time? Ra, this is correct then you see within each density the gradual upgrading of vibratory levels. Question. This is a guess. With the frequency going from second to third increase from the middle orange or average orange frequency to the middle or average yellow frequency. Ra, this query is indeterminate. We shall attempt to be of aid. However, the frequency that is the basis of each density is what we may be called a true color. This term is impossible to define given your system of sensibilities and scientific measurements. For color has vibratory characteristics both in space, time, and in time-space. The true color is then overlaid and tinged by the rainbow of the various vibratory levels within that density 
and the attraction vibrations of the very next true color density. Question. How long was the time of transition from second to third density? A generation and a half, I believe you said. Is that correct? Ra, this is correct. The time measured in your years being approximately 1,350. Question. What will be the time of transition on this planet from third to fourth density? Ra, this is difficult to estimate due to the uncharacteristic anomalies of this transition. There are, at this space-time nexus, beings incarnate which have begun fourth density work. However, the third density climate of planetary consciousness is retarding the process. At this particular nexus, the possibility or probability vortices indicate somewhere between 100 and 700 of your years as a transition period. This cannot be accurate due to the volatility of your people at this space-time. Question. Has the vibration of the photon increased in frequency already? Ra, this is correct. It is this influence which has begun to cause thoughts to become things. As an example, you may observe the thoughts of anger becoming those cells of the physical body complex going out of control to become what you call cancer. Question. I am assuming that this vibratory increase began at about 20 to 30 years ago. Is this correct? Ra, the first harbinger of this were approximately 45 of your years ago. The energies vibrating more intensely through the 40-year period preceding the final movement of vibration matter, shall we say, through the quantum leap as you would call it. Question. Starting then 45 years ago and taking the entire increase of vibration that we will experience in this density change, approximately what percentage through this increase in vibrational change are we at right now? Ra. The vibratory nature of your environment is true color green. This is, at this time, heavily overwoven with the orange ray of planetary consciousness. However, the nature of quanta is such that the movement over the boundary is that of discrete placement of vibratory level. Question. You mentioned that the thoughts of anger now are causing cancer. Can you expand on this mechanism that acts as a catalyst or its complete process? Ra. The fourth density is one of revealed information. Selves are not hidden to self or other selves. The imbalance or distortions which are of a destructive nature show, therefore, in more obvious ways. The vehicle of the mind-body-spirit complex, thus acting as a teaching resource for self-revelation. These illnesses, such as cancer, are corresponding very amenable to self-healing once the mechanism of the destructive influence has been grasped by the individual. Question. Then you are saying that cancer is quite easily healed mentally, and is a good teaching tool because it is easily healed mentally, and once the entity forgives the other self at whom he is angry, the cancer will disappear. Is that correct? Ra, this is partially correct. The other portion of healing has to do with forgiveness of self and greatly heightened respect for the self. This may conveniently be expressed by taking care in dietary matters. This is quite frequently a part of the healing and forgiving process, but your basic premise is correct. Question. In dietary matters, what would be the foods that one would include, and what would be the foods that one would exclude in a general way for the greatest care of one's bodily complex? Ra. Firstly, we underline and emphasize that this information is not to be understood literally, but as a link or psychological nudge for the body and the mind and spirit. Thus it is care and respect for the self that is the true thing of importance. In this light, we may iterate the basic information given for this instrument's diet. The vegetables, fruits, grains, and to some extent, the individual metabolism, the animal products. These are those substances showing respect for the self. In addition, though this has not been mentioned for this instrument, is not in need of purification. Those entities in need of purging the self of a poison thought form or emotion complex do well to take care in following a program of careful fasting, until the destruction thought form has been purged analogously with the byproduct of ridding the physical vehicle of excess material. Again, you see the value not to the body complex, but used as a link for the mind and the spirit. Thus, self reveals self to self. Question. Thank you. A very important concept. Does the fact that the basic vibration that we experience now is green, true color, or fourth density account for the fact that there are many mental effects upon material objects 
that are now observable for the first time in a mass way, such as the bending of metal by mind. Ra, this shall be the final query in total of this working. This is not only correct, but we suggest you take this concept further and understand the great number of entities with the so-called mental disease being due to the effect of this green ray, true color, upon the mental configuration of those unready mental mentally to face the self for the first time. Are there any brief queries before we close? Question just two. With respect to what you said, would then people incarnating here by seniority of vibration who incarnate in the service to self path be ones who would have extreme difficulty mentally with the green ray vibration? Ra, this is incorrect. It is rather the numbers who have distracted themselves and failed to prepare for this transition, yet who are somewhat susceptible to its influence who may be affected. Question, thank you. Is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Ra, this instrument as well, you are conscientious. The appertens cause this instrument greater comfort in the distortion of the warmth of the body complex. I am Ra, I leave you, my friend, in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai.